Greetings Pisces. Welcome to Wasted Traditions Tarot. I'm Tiffany. I'll be doing your reading for the week of March 31st through April 6th. Come on in here Pisces. I've been away for a little bit. I'm so happy to be back. I'm glad you're back as well. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and click on notifications. Pisces, we're going to get an angel number for you. I will get an oracle card for your overall energy. Then we will do tarot for understanding and clarification. Spirit, what is Pisces angel number? Do tell. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, Pisces. Your angel number is 0808. Swift action, wealth, empathy, promises, commitment, affection, inner strength, auspicious outcomes. You will enter a time of expansion, so begin taking steps toward achieving your ultimate objective immediately, Pisces. Finances will miraculously improve. Oh, and somebody has their mind set on you, Pisces. Swift action, 0808. Interesting. Will this feel like a love reading? I don't know. Let's see. All right, we're going to go with the Spirit Animal Oracle. Oh, okay, that was quick. That was quick, Pisces. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm also, I see this butterfly here, but I also see this shape and image, and it just reminds me of, of an elephant. And elephants are so wise and so um, determined and... They're just knowledgeable. So not only do I see the butterfly, I, I also see an elephant here. But this butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful. This is this is illumination. This is inspiration. I feel intuition coming up for you, Pisces. Um, enlightenment. Wow. All right. Let's get some. Let's get some tarot. All right, we have death, two of cups. Is that someone having their eye on you? Ten of cups, wow, this is beautiful. Okay, Pisces, I'm loving this already. So loving this. This is a transformation. This is new beginnings. You will enter a time of expansion Finances will miraculously improve. New beginnings, transformation, transformation, Pisces. Wow, I love this. Hmm. I feel like also with this death card, this transformation that's coming towards you, Pisces, it's also bringing in security and stability for you as well. Then we have the Two of Cups, right? I'm wondering if there's a union that's coming up for you, some sort of partnership, relationship, and I'm wondering, you know, someone has their their mindset on you. Do you know who that is, Pisces? We're going to get some clarification, try to get an understanding, and then we have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is it's the ultimate. It is the the happiest place in the world that you want to be, right? This is your dream coming true. This is the transformation of your life and your dream coming true with this Ten of Cups, Pisces. You have a renewal. You, It's like you have a reset. I mean, total fulfillment and joy is coming up for you, Pisces. And, it, and it's coming to you swiftly. You are expanding. Mm, okay. Let's get some clarification. Yeah. <laughs> Your money. Your money's coming. New money's coming. That's the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Empress. Wow. Okay. So, with the Ace of Pentacles, again, that's the beginning. That is... 
there's a transformation in your finances. Your finances are improving. Mm -hmm. It's a new beginning for your financial journey. And then we have the Queen of Cups here for you, Pisces. What I'm feeling from this is you have to learn to nurture yourself. You have to fill your cup first, Pisces. I'm feeling that you are very generous. Generous to the point of having nothing left for yourself in many areas of your life. And you cannot continue to move through the world like that. That has not served you well. You believe it is. That is something that you've decided to believe. It's not true. You have to take care of and nurture yourself first. Make sure you're set first. And then... All that comes out of the cup as your cup runneth over, Pisces, that is for everyone else. But you must keep your cup filled at all times. And then we have the Empress. Again, I'm getting the nurturing of self. There is abundance here for you. There is abundance. There is abundance there. And looking back at the angel number card, wealth. Wealth is there. Auspicious outcomes unexpected outcomes coming out of nowhere but I really don't feel like it's out of nowhere so with the empress nurturing you have to nurture yourself first you have to nurture your finances first you have to nurture your heart first in order to get to the place of ultimate contentment and fulfillment to keep to this transformation is coming in it is a reset don't do things you the way you used to do them. That is insanity. It hasn't worked out for you, Pisces. It hasn't worked out. I feel like I need a couple more. Five of Swords. And the Queen of Wands. Wow. Okay. You have ambition. Pisces, you have ambition to be a kind person that makes a difference. And that's a beautiful ambition to have. And yet, I'm still, I would be remiss if I didn't remind you, you have to nurture yourself first. You have to, the two of cups, you want to share your life with someone. You want to share your heart with someone. But you cannot share a half empty heart. There's nothing there to sustain the relationship. If you don't take care of yourself, you cannot sustain sustain yourself well to the point of contentment in order to sustain any type of relationship, whether it's romantic, familial, or professional, right? So your ambition is beautiful. Keep your ambition in check. Make sure you're being realistic and make sure you're nurturing yourself first. Fill your cup first. That's what I'm feeling with this five of swords. You you are a resourceful person. But when resourcefulness is a constant thing, you will begin to deplete yourself and then there is then there is conflict, then there is chaos. Right. I, I feel like resourcefulness. What I'm getting right now is robbing Peter to pay Paul. <clears throat> and is that really resourceful? Um, That's up to you to determine if that's what the way you want to continue to move about. But you have so much. You have so much abundance coming towards you. And it, I really definitely feel it is very. It's pointing toward finances to get you to a place of contentment. But the responsibility has to be set. The foundation has to be set. Secure your foundation. Make sure your life is stable and harmonious. And nurturing yourself, Pisces, to make sure that because you are well, you are able to help others and take care of others in a responsible manner. Because you have a heart to share and give. But if you keep giving to the point of depletion, you'll be stuck in place for a long time. And it's like you have to get the lesson now. This is a chance for renewal, chance for 
transformation, that butterfly. You get to renew your life, transform your life with these this money that's coming towards you, right? And then the Queen of Wands shows up again. More, more nurturing. Like, how much more do you need spirit to tell you? This whole thing is big nurturing for yourself. Spirit is trying to get you to hear this message clearly. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Put on your oxygen mask first, Pisces. And all of this transition and change and abundance comes towards you. And you can use it to your advantage, Pisces. That's what I'm feeling with this. To your advantage to be more effective in your own life and effective in the lives of those you care about, right? Take heed, Pisces. Nurture yourself. Fill your cup first, Pisces. So that you are able to be of use to humanity. You can do this. But you have to take care of yourself first. Get the message. Don't repeat this lesson. 